Hey guys, I know I'm probably late to the game, but guess what? I finally have this parent match on Ancestry. And uh, it's a great feature, I think. And now, of course, I'm on 23andMe, so I, and my parents, by the grace of God, before they died, um, didn't agree to have their DNA donated to science. <laughs> and so I do have that. But this is great for Ancestry. And um, this is how I think is going to be helpful. And so you see they've broken things down into matches here. Even they've got a whole bunch unassigned over here. I'm looking at a couple of these faces over here. And uh, not sure why they're unassigned because a couple of these are actually close matches. Well, it says so here. Could be because their test was processed after the last update. So maybe uh, they'll catch up with those soon. Hopefully they will. But anyway, what I like about this over here um, is the common community section over here. So this is my maternal over here. And when you click view more on the common communities, I see this early New England settlers, early Connecticut and New York settlers, Devon and Cornwall, England, Lesser Antilles, African Caribbeans. Now with this, I know this is uh, my Jamaican, most of Jamaican ancestry and um, where most of my uh, African relatives are over here, I guess from my mom's side, that is. And then Devon and Cornwall, England, uh, my growth line of uh, traced back to a place called Bodmin in Devon, so I know that. But this is interesting over here, the early New England settlers and early Connecticut New York settlers. And the reason why is because um, I've been told that my great, great grandfather on one line, um, he was a European gentleman, uh, but he apparently came to Jamaica, or his family came to Jamaica, at the time of the war. That's all my aunt told me, the time of the war. I said, which war? And she just wouldn't tell me which war, because since she wouldn't tell me, she really wasn't aware of what war. This is just what she was told. They came at the time of the war. And so looking at this, it appears that it's probably the American Revolutionary War. Okay, and so they were probably early New England settlers or early Connecticut and New York settlers, originally from um, England, or could have been from Wales or Ireland, depending on family lore. But um, yeah, and so this will help now to narrow down my search as I look for um, relatives from these regions and looking at their family trees to see if they have those two names that have been so elusive to me, actually, when I'm trying to uh, find some sort of concrete information in Jamaica. And those are names Brown and Williams. And so this will probably help over there. Now, when it comes to my maternal, some interesting things over here, too. So I'm clicking um, over here, view more. And of course, again, this would be Jamaica, Lesser Antilles, African Caribbeans. But notice the three categories over here are all African American, all right? And so we've got early North African, sorry, early North Carolina African American, South Carolina African American, and Mid Atlantic Coast. Now, South Carolina interests me a great deal because I have a whole lot of relatives from South Carolina. And I'm working under a strong hunch, a very, very strong hunch, that my Sims line, my second great grandfather, uh, Joseph Sims, born 1807 and uh, died 19, 1807 to 1913, I believe it was 1913. So he was about 106 when he died. Not as old as another second great grandfather, Thomas Burton, born in 1799 and died in 1913. Almost, he didn't quite make 114. But anyway, getting back to this over here. So it was interesting looking at my father's line, particularly South Carolina African Americans. I've had quite a few people um, who uh, I met with who are from South Carolina, and I'm working with a strong, strong, strong feeling that that's where my Sims line is from. But what's interesting as I look at all of this in my father's line, there may be others um, who may have been transported to Jamaica from. Um, the American continent, probably during the time of um, 
the Civil War or thereabouts, or 1812, who knows. But anyway, this again has helped me to broaden uh, my search. And so I'm looking more keenly at those matches, names in those matches. And if I see anything like Sims or Cummins in their tree, then um, it would help me to dig a little bit deeper uh, into um, the ancestry from the African American side and give me a sense of what type of, uh, or not what type of, what names to look for. I'm a little tired right here, so I know I'm talking all about myself. But anyway, it would be great to know if anyone else have had any success in uh, using this new feature on Ancestry to <coughs> break down some walls. Okay, peace.